Hi guys. It's been a long day. Uh, yeah, it was my first day back from spring break, so... Yeah. Hey guys, it's me, Rachel Janetti, and it's your favorite scene queen from 2013. It's been a long day, it's been a long week, it's been a long break, but I'm back filming videos. I'm sorry for that vlog that you had to see. My eyeliner is half wiped off, and I don't know what my hair is doing, but hopefully you're just listening to this and not actually watching. Not that I'm very well spoken either, so like, March 9th was my birthday, I am 19 now. But yeah, we're on the floor of my room again because guess what? We're talking about problematic people in the cinema industry again. What else is new? Ugh, anyway. I'm getting my notes up so we can start talking about this. I look tired and I feel tired, so like, we're just gonna go along with this. Okay, so today we're gonna deal with one of my childhood idols. Uh, Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg, one of my childhood idols. I used to love Jurassic Park. Yeah, I kind of disagree with him right now. What else is new? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just a, uh, I keep moving a lot. I had a lot of coffee today. What's happening? So this is gonna kind of be a little bit ra more ranty video. Steven Spielberg. Apparently he's kind of dissing some types of movies. I'm gonna bring up the tweets because I did not prepare for this video. I just got home alone and I was like, I'm making a video. What Steven Spielberg aims to do, or, or what he wants to do, is disqualify all Netflix movies from the Oscars, the Academy Awards, whatever he's on the board of. I just want to say a few things. <laughs> Naturally. So this time, I'm going to get to the point, and it's not going to be a 12 minute video anymore. Netflix movies. I'm sure all of you know really good ones, and I'm sure all of you know really bad ones. Same thing with production company movies. How many people like the newest few Star Wars movies? That's a huge corporation behind that. To All the Boys I've Loved Before is a pretty well-produced movie, and it's a Netflix movie. To judge something based on what produce a production company released it is re not really fair in the grand scheme of things because anyway it has been produced it has been shown to people it is a movie you know you know there is a it's, of course i'm not a big production company i am a girl sitting alone in her room talking to her phone so when a uh production company produces a movie they release the movie they market the movie and so on and so forth netflix does the same thing when they create their own content they uh release it out into the world and they market it it's the same thing with a production company netflix is just a corporation that is a production company in itself as well as a streaming service it's just that it has its own streaming service and that's what it was born out of there are many stars who work hard on these netflix movies netflix itself has not been <laughs> the best at adaptations. Netflix still created movies. Netflix released movies, people like those movies, and they like them enough to be featured on the Oscars. If he doesn't think that they are the same level as Hollywood produced movies, which they basically are at the same level of production, if he thinks that they're lesser, then they wouldn't be considered for Oscars. If he thinks that any of them could not compare to any of their movies, like the big names in Hollywood, then he should have no problem with them. I have a thing, I have a theory. When movies were silent, movies were simple. Movies were very simple, they had no sound. People had to play piano or play in an orchestra in the theater itself. Everybody knows about Charlie Chaplin, right? I hope you do. If you don't, pause this video right now, go look Char Charlie Chaplin up. He has the same mustache as my cat. He apparently, was a drama queen, number one. He was a silent movie star, and he was a very good actor in silent movies. He was very expressive, and when sound and color, well, not color, he, I'm pretty sure he was dead before color, but sound was added into movies in, I believe, the 1930s, he really didn't want to be in those, in those movies, in those talkies, because he felt that true cinema was silent. And I believe that's kind of where we're going in that direction. And the same thing with a lot of colorized films, people didn't 
actors especially who were in black and white films didn't want to venture into color films because they felt it would diminish the quality of their acting it would distract people from their emotions of course there were advancements that were that were made and those people got left in the dust and to steven spielberg i want to say that he's been warned there are streaming services that are going to take over mainstream media they're going to take over these corporations are kind of like another revolution in cinema. To have any movie at your hands, these production studios have so many ideas, so many new minds, so many new eyes, because they're trying to get younger audiences, so they're going to hire younger people who will be there for longer, that people don't know the names of quite just yet. I don't know if he's threatened by these streaming services, or if he thinks that they're of a lesser kind because Netflix is predominantly a streaming service. But let me just say this, although it is a big company, although a lot of these com companies are big companies, they do create some quality content. And I, I have to admit that some of their movies are pretty good. <laughs> like, I'm not saying that everything they make is spectacular and not everything they make is Oscar worthy. No, of course not. Not, that's never gonna happen for anyone. Not everybody's, actually nobody's first, second, third film is probably gonna make it to the Oscars, let's be honest here. There are things in life that change. There are things in life that may not completely go your way. To Steven Spielberg, I think that everybody deserves a fair chance and it shouldn't be left to just big studios that can afford a seven million dollar budget. You can make a great film with three actors in one set. That's like all, like at least a short film can be made with one actor in one set. And you can make that an amazing short film. What I'm saying is I don't think Netflix should be blocked because they have made content that is admirable. Everybody loves my cat, so like... But, um, yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave it with you guys. Please leave me your thoughts and comments below. I want to thank you for sticking it out till the end. I have been talking for 20 minutes, and so <laughs> I hope this video isn't too long. I hope you guys stayed. Please like and subscribe. That's greatly appreciated. Yeah, so if you enjoy seeing my cat climb on my lap while I rant to you about videos and um Steven Spielberg because um Steven but um anyway thank you guys for watching I love you all you guys are all great yeah 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 follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Rachel Janetti it'll be at the end it's also on my channel page and it's not over here and it's also in the description so if you want to just click that follow me okay I'm sorry for keeping you guys so long I love you all bye guys